Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting algebraic equation. It is x times 2x minus 1 equal to 63 over x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. We have to find out all possible solutions, real and complex. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. So x plus 2 cannot be equal to 0. From this equation, I can write x cannot be equal to minus 2 first restricted value one more bracket is there that is 2x plus 3 this should not be 0 so x cannot be equal to negative 3 over 2 so two values from our answer list will be rejected now it is non-zero so i can cross multiply i will write x times 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 times 2x plus 3 equal to 63. Now I will consider the product, the product method that is 2x minus 1. I will consider these two all together and these two terms or brackets all together. So I can write x times 2x plus 3 first product and then we will be having two brackets 2x minus 1 and x plus 2 equal to 63. So I can write this is 2x square plus 3x and if you will take the product of these two 2x times x 2x square 2x times 2 4x minus 1 times x minus x 4x minus x plus 3x minus 1 times 2 minus 2. 63. Now the easiest method from this point we should consider 2x square plus 3x equal to a. Once we will do that it will become a times a minus 2 equal to 63. a square minus 2a minus 63 equal to 0. If you will proceed through factorization you can write a square 7 9 is 63. So we can write minus 9a plus 7a as minus 2a. This term we can write minus 9a plus 7a. Minus 63 equal to 0. Take a common a minus 9. Take 7 common a minus 9. And then we will get our factorization a plus 7 times a minus 9. So we have got two values of a minus 7 and 9. Minus 7 and 9. Now what I will do? I will equate 2x square plus 3x which is ultimately a equal to minus 7 for one quadratic equation equal to 9 for second quadratic equation. So let us do that. 2x square plus 3x equal to minus 7 and 2x square plus 3x equal to 9. So from this equation we will be having one quadratic 2x square plus 3x plus 7 equal to 0. And from this equation we will have quadratic 2x square plus 3x minus 9 equal to 0. Two quadratic equation. But let me take you the method number 2. That method is the difference of squares identity method. So first I will write that equation so that you can connect 2x square plus 3x and then second bracket was 2x square plus 3x minus 2 equal to 63. This was our original equation. From here we substituted 2x square plus 3x equal to a and then we reached up to these two quadratic equations. We will solve little later. These quadratics will come again. Now I will consider here 2x square plus 3x. Then I will do one manipulation minus 1 plus 1 in first bracket here. Minus 1 plus 1. Similarly in second bracket I will write 2x square plus 3x minus 1 minus 1 equal to 63. Now you can see 
if I will consider 2x square plus 3x minus 1 as A and if I will consider 1 as B, A and then I will write B. So this is one identity which is called difference of two squares A plus B, A minus B. So further we can simplify through difference of two squares A square minus B square. So this is I guess it is more easier. So let us apply. So our equation will become 2x square plus 3x minus 1 whole square. This is a square minus b square is 1 square and right hand side is 63. So I can write 2x square plus 3x minus 1 whole square. 1 square is 1. If I will take to the right then it will become 64. And 64 we can consider it is 8 square or straight away we can take square root both sides. So if I will take a square root both sides, I will be writing like this. This will be over. This is square root and square will be over. So what I can write 2x square plus 3x minus 1 equal to plus minus 8. Now see same equations we are having plus and minus 8. Same equations we are having these quadratics. You can check if I will consider plus 8 then equation will become minus 1 minus 8 so minus 9. Second equation will come for plus sign and for minus 8 you will consider plus 7 so first equation will come. Okay so let's solve both the quadratic equations 2x square plus 3x minus 9 and 2x square plus 3x plus 7. So let me write here 2x square plus 3x plus 7 equal to 0 and second quadratic is 2x square plus 3x minus 9 equal to 0. I will use Sridharachar formula straight away. So let us apply minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2 minus 3 plus minus under the root b square is 9 minus 4ac so 56 over 2a so 4 minus 3 plus minus this will be negative so let me write over here i and what is left that is 47 over 4 so here we are having two complex valued solutions minus 3 plus minus i root 47 divided by 4. Now consider this quadratic equation this is done. I will write x is equal to minus b so minus 3 plus minus under the root b square is 9 minus 4 ac so 72 with plus sign divided by 2a so 4. Now minus 3 plus minus 9 plus 72 81 square root 81 is 9 4 with plus sign minus 3 plus 9 then 6 over 4 minus 3 minus 9 then minus 12 over 4. So there are two real values also. I will write 3 by 2 6 by 4 as 3 by 2 and minus 3. So two real values and two complex values solutions. Now let us verify. So let me write here verification and I will only verify two real values. So first one was x is equal to 3 by 2. So from here if x is equal to 3 by 2 then its meaning is 2x is equal to 3 let's put. So I will write x is equal to 3 by 2 LHS 2x so 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2 and denominator is 2. Left hand side is overall 3. RHS. I will write 63 divided by x plus 2. So 2 plus 3 by 2. So 7 by 2. And denominator 2x 3 plus 3 6. So I will cancel this 6 and 2 by writing 3. 
63 over 21, so 3. So both values are same. So our solution is 2 and verified. Now come to x is equal to negative 3. So I will put over here minus 3. 2 times here I am putting in the original equation LHS. 2 times minus 3, minus 6, minus 1, minus 7. So left hand side is plus 21. Right hand side. Right hand side if you will check it will be 63 divided by x plus 2. So minus 1 and 2x plus 3. So 2x is minus 6 plus 3 minus 3. So you can see it is coming out 21 minus times minus is plus 63 over 3 is 21. So both sides are matching. This solution is also true. So two real and two complex solutions are here. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.